Beirut, four decades after one of deadliest attacks on U.S. troops in the Middle East. Some warn that Washington could be sliding into a new conflict in region. On October 23, 1983, a suicider struck an American military barracks at Beirut International Airport, killing 241 U.S. soldiers, mostly sailors. This is still the deadliest attack on Marines since the Battle of Iwo Jima in World War II. Fifty-eight paratroopers were killed in the almost simultaneous attack on French forces. While Washington blames the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah for the Ings, Iran-backed Hezbollah denies this claim. U.S. and French forces were in Beirut as part of a multinational force deployed during Israel's 1982 invasion of Lebanon. The force oversaw withdrawal of Palestinian fighters from Beirut and later remained there to assist the Western-backed government at time. The ING caused the U.S. to withdraw from Lebanon. The aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford positioned in the eastern Mediterranean along with other American warships. A second aircraft carrier is also on the way. In what widely seen as a message to Iran and Hezbollah not to open new fronts while Israel fights. Hamas. Long-standing tensions between United States and Iran escalated further after two weeks of tension between Israel and Hamas. When the Palestinian militant group's surprise attack on towns in southern Israel on October 7 brought devastating Israeli armament to Gaza Strip, the biggest concern is on the Lebanon-Israel border, where Israel and Hezbollah exchange fire every day. But there are other points where the United States could be dragged into direct conflict. There are approximately 2,500 U.S. soldiers in Iraq and approximately 900 in eastern Syria, serving against ISIS. In both countries, Iran has militias loyal to it that have been firing on Americans since the start of the Gaza War. A Hezbollah supporter named Haji Mohammed posted a video on TikTok on October 13 that drew a threatening parallel between the barracks ing 40 years ago and events today. It looks like Uncle Joe didn't tell the commanders of these warships and aircraft carriers what happened on October 23, 1983. The man said, referring to President Joe Biden, Sitting front a poster of the Dome the Rock in Jerusalem, he wondered aloud whether U.S. troops would return home coffins. Iran-backed groups have made threats if the United States joins the war on Israel's side. Senior Hezbollah official Hachem Safadine said in his speech that there are tens of thousands of fighters in the region with their fingers on the trigger. The commander of a powerful Iran-backed militia group in Iraq posted a photo of himself standing at the Lebanon-Israel border on social media to make clear his fighters were ready for battle. If United States intervened directly Israel-Hamas war, the American presence in region would become legitimate targets for resistance fighters. Whether Iraq or elsewhere, said Commander Abu Allah al-Shuhada of Iraq's